2023 we are expecting us to be around uh, you know 170 million people i i think i think i, I uh, fumbled there so total uh, you know before i move there let, let me just come back to this so this story the epicenter the commerce uh, from the smartphone that is you know we we, we talked about e-commerce a lot but now m commerce or mobile commerce is more synonymous i believe uh, with advent of new india uh, and uh, you know that's that, that's that, that is also a one aspect of this uh, online retail that we should see because e mobiles are also a channel uh, smart home, uh, smart speakers are also a channel so if you look in that context there are two sort of people uh, which i see uh, exist in the in, in the online shopper category uh, you know like population one which is, which can relate to this a cart a shopping cart and the other which can relate to a shopping bag right so i mean we are talking about digital native and the digital naive right digital native are those people who lived in tier 1 cities who grew up around technology they are more comfortable doing you know like transactions on e-commerce e because they have been consuming content on internet for a very long time and it is said that normally two it takes two years to do a first transaction for a first uh, you know like if, if you are a new internet user so what is the strength that we are talking about 100 million digital native by 2023 and all it takes is 9 minutes to convince a consumer to buy a product the digital natives these are 170 million people and every 3 out of 5 online orders are made from digital natives so as a business as a e-commerce platform you know it becomes very imperative to look at the needs of digital natives because digital natives they are already being served right our focus is digital native what about those people every 9 out of 10 new indian language new, new internet user is a indian language internet user right they are 99% of the new internet users are exp experiencing internet for the first time through their mobile so i'm talking about those people who live in the urban dis uh, you know rural districts of maybe like uh, birbhum or maybe like you know uh, people like uh, districts like uh, gorakhpur or uh, darbhanga or maybe like uh, so some district in jind or hisar i'm talking about those people right who are not in the major cities major major uh, you know uh, they are not into uh, major metro cities so let's talk about digital natives in more uh, detail what do they want you know like who are they and you know it's a mix of both basically who are they and what do they want so it, i'm talking about these people if you can relate to it you are one of the digital natives what you want is self service why because you are impatient you are restless you get frustrated very easily and you don't want to talk to a business about your problem you want to get your things yourself and quickly move away right you don't have time to speak to your business right until and unless it is very critical right next their omni channel you are omni channel you are present on whatsapp you are present on messenger you are present on website you are present on you know like mobile apps be it ios or android or huawei or you know any other uh, smartphone you all the you know like and the best part is you even call when when all these channels fail you call right and then comes the product discovery part which is very important and very critical for all these digital natives why you know like e-commerce brought a million you know like many millions of items online you know like and people can easily access but with that scale it also becomes difficult uh, for people to get relevant results right if i uh, you know like order ki you know like mujhe you know like mujhe kuch like something something like you know like mujhe kuch se 5 kilo seb order karne hain right so there the input that this the native give Uh, they, you know like they, they they use code mixing right uh, code mixing is a language phenomena wherein uh, you know like a user uh, borrows vocabulary from different languages to frame a sentence so processing those kind of inputs to you know like uh, enable better or enhance uh, contextual product discovery that is what these digital natives want right now let's talk about the digital natives who are they 
digital naives. Digital naives are those people like me. Uh, I mean, like at least I used to be like around like 14 years ago. That's the story. But there are a lot of people uh, joining internet today. I joined internet roughly 14 years ago. So that's a difference. The disparity in the exposure of internet is huge. So in order for these people to be comfortable to transact on an online platform with so many frauds and abuse and threats going around, what are the key things that matters to them? They want Indian language. They want a interface where they can understand things. They can read something and understand things, right? They don't. They are not comfortable with touching. They are doing it for the first time, right? And they they don't feel comfortable uh, typing because they are they are voice first. So that is what they want. They want voice search to to you know like to uh, ask questions or ask you know like uh, figure out items that they want, which otherwise they would not be able to discover if it were through a text only medium. And also they also they want personal assistance. I mean, like, you know, like, they are afraid if I touch a particular button, my money will cut off, right? Or if they, you know, like, if I do this, then maybe the item will be deleted, kya? They, they are not that savvy, right? So they need personal assistance. And that's where, that's where voice AI comes in. So now, I mean, what is that thought leaders are doing about uh, you know like these people, digital names who are new to the internet, but new market for the e-commerce businesses or platform. And this, and on top of that, when you see that this business uh, is growing, so it becomes more imperative for thought leaders to you know like take a step and think ten years from ahead or five years from ahead. Because earlier people you know uh, they uh, used to you know like people. They, they kind of, you know, like the, these leaders, they, they couldn't think about it. Earlier, uh, the, uh, two years ago, they, everybody talked about AI, right? right? And today, people are looking at solutions uh, and they are calling it look AI, right? But the leaders who are ready today, they started sometime yesterday. That's why they are ready today. Those thought leaders, what did they do? They... In, engage their customer. They, they 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 heard the voice of their customer, and they saw that they had problem with discovery. So they gave them multilingual voice search. They gave their agents call center AI agents because they were the the kind of volume that we are expecting is not humanly possible for contact centers to tackle that, especially in a scenario like COVID that we have now, right? And then. For themselves as a business, they are looking for speech analytics. They want to generate actionable business insights. They want to, you know, like analyze the conversation and see where the conversations are dropping, where the engagements are dropping, and they want to improve upon it. So every voice tech product that you see, voice AI product that you see, it, you know, it's it's a product, and you need to make it, you know, like think it, uh, think AI. I mean, like you know, forward. If you want to, if you want to do something tomorrow, you have to start today, no matter if it is hard. Right. So that is my agenda that I wanted to push today. Now I'm going to introduce you to a magic that we that we call it ourselves. Earlier, it was very difficult to see, you know, like uh, how AI can understand human language and talk to humans. So today I'm going to demonstrate a piece of it to you. Let's let's look into it and see what, what you talk about, what, what how you feel about it. I am Maya AI Assistant here to help you. To begin with, please select the language to continue. I can speak in English, Hindi, Kannada, Telugu and Marathi. For better experience, please speak from a quiet place. Hindi. Namaste, Maya mein aapka swagat hai. Apne order status ke liye leave ke baad kripya order ID batayin. Achhi anubhav ke liye kisi shant jagah se baat karein. Uh, order ID Nikito 8086769020. Order ID Dene Kiri, Hanevad, Yah pre booking order Hejo of Nilharit Tarik, Sola Julaiko dispatch Kia Jaiga, Abhi Surat Mehe or a patient delivery ki Tarik, Beast Julai Hai, Kripya Bataya Garako Koya and Jan Kari Jahi. Ah, uh, it's not time to have a garden upload. Uh, 
फ्री बुकिंग ऑर्डर अपने निर्धारित तारीख पर ही डिस्पैच किया जाता है डिस्पैच हो जाने के बाद डिलीवरी में चार से पाँच कार्य दिवस लगते हैं कृपया धैर्य रखें आपका प्रोडक्ट निर्धारित तारीख बीस जुलाई तक कस्टमर को पहुँच जाएगा अच्छा मेरा एक और ऑर्डर है उसका भी स्टेटस जानना है एक एक करके हम हर एक ऑर्डर आईडी के लिए जानकारी प्रदान करेंगे कृपया मुझे पहली ऑर्डर आईडी बताएं। ऑर्डर लिखिए तो सात छ जीरो छ पाँच सात एक सात और आईडी देने के लिए धन्यवाद कस्टमर से संपर्क न हो पाने के कारण 6 जुलाई 7 जुलाई और 8 जुलाई की डिलीवरी अटैम्प्ट असफल रही तीन अटैम्प्ट के बाद प्रोडक्ट सप्लायर को रिटर्न कर दिया गया है री अटैम्प्ट की रिक्वेस्ट के लिए कृपया मुझे कस्टमर केयर एजेंट को कॉल ट्रांसफर करने का आदेश दे कृपया बताए अगर आपको कोई अन्य जानकारी चाहिए हाँ कॉल ट्रांसफर कर दीजिए ह्यूमन एजेंट को कृपया धैर्य रखें मैं आपका कॉल कस्टमर केयर एजेंट को ट्रांसफर कर रही हूँ सो आई होप यू आई होप यू लाइक डेट एंड यू सी वेयर वॉइस ए आई इज टूडे स्पेशली इन इंडियन लैंग्वेजेज विज ऑफ इंडियन ई कॉमर्स और इंडियन बैंकिंग और इंडियन इंश्योरेंस एनी सेक्टर एनी बिजनेस इंटिटी सो आई हैव आई एम रेडी फॉर क्वेश्चन आई गेस नाउ राइट थैंक यू वेरी मच विश्वनाथ Thank you. Um, I'm sure there are lots of things to discuss, and a lot of the um, uh, audience will have a lot of lots of questions. But we are a little bit over short on time, so okay. at this stage, we must thank you profusely for sharing your experience and knowledge with us. And if anybody would like to interact with Vishwanath um, offline, you're welcome to do so. Uh, all you have to do is leave this session and go to the VIP booth, where you will find Vishwanath as well as the other speakers um, uh, from from yesterday and even today as well. So. Thank you very much. You have a very good day, and we will move on to our next uh, panel discussion. Which Thank is you very much. Excited one. Thank you very much, Vishnu. Have a good day. Have a good day.